И знаете, сегодня я хочу вам сказать, что вы можете you know, Today I want to tell you that you can develop faith in something, but in something you don't develop it. Because of this you will suffer a collapse in this. You can be developed in one thing. You know, here is Abraham. Look, he was such a brave man that he went and defeated five kings just with people, which were only 318 people. Abraham was brave enough to believe in God. God called him his friend. And at the same time we read that when he came to Egypt, he asked Sarah not to say that she was his wife. Because she was very beautiful. Abraham says they will kill me because of you, because of your beauty. And the king took her as his concubine. Well, Abraham, he was afraid. But you know what? He had a strong development of faith in the defense of God. Therefore, God struck down the whole house of the king of Egypt. He struck the whole house. No one could give birth anymore. All the patients were. And God said, this is specifically for this king. What is it about this woman? And he came to Abraham. He said, please, why did you do this to us? Take gifts, take everything, take your wife and move on. And then it happened again. Then it was repeated with Isaac. You know, it's like a story that went down the line. We see that people who have developed their faith strongly in something, but not developed it in something. Today you can develop your faith with something and not develop it. You must understand that the development of faith it takes time. You cannot develop faith in everything at the same time. So God always gives you time. Do you know that once God showed me a very interesting thing? That between each test, there is necessarily a time that God gives you so that you pray at this time, develop your faith, and so that when this test passes, you easily cross it and move on. But if you do not develop this faith at this time, and when you feel good, you relax, as all believers do, when they feel good, they stop being obedient, they stop donating, they stop going to church, they stop connecting to the air, because that everything is good. This deception will come the next temptation, and you will be amazed and will be far from where you were at the beginning. This is what God taught me. That is why I accepted it so deeply and with such deep fear of God. That I prayed all day. And I want to tell you, I prayed all day long. I went in this all day long, developed faith and developed faith in different directions. You see, without self-development, no businessman will ever be successful without developing faith. No businessman will achieve what God has prepared for him. You see, there is a part that God has prepared for you and that God must do. And there is a part that God will not do for you. He says you have to do this part, you believe, and I bless you. You measure yourself a blessing. With what measure you measure yourself, it will be measured to you, and it will be. If you think small, you measure yourself small. If you think like a little person, you will live like a little person. If you think like a queen, you will live like a queen. You will walk like a queen. If you think like a man, worthy, who can help and solve the problem. Then I want to tell you, if you measure yourself like this, then you will be like that. You will be measured like that. Understand, it starts to be measured not in the money that we gave, they begin to be measured in the thinking that we have, the way we look at ourselves, how we see ourselves, who we think we are. 
Now you can tell me the truth. Who do you think you are? Listen to me. What you say, it will be 99% untrue. Because the devil has been working on you since childhood, so that you believe in what is beneficial to him. And often we want to change it in five minutes. Teachings about the fourth dimension, you just need to stand on it and develop it and not stop at it. Your image of yourself, it must be stable in relation to the family, in relation to relationships in the house, in relation to finances, in relation to health. You know, the health of your family, the health of your loved ones, it must be in your faith. You've got to be the kind of person who, when he says it, the devil will just run right off. Instantly, demons will leave, diseases will obey you, and for this to be so, friends need to develop their faith, so that I can pray today and that God entrusts me to pray on television, friends do not think. But you know, for over 10 years I prayed 8 hours a day. And I always prayed for healing, prayed, prayed. I had tantrums, the real ones so much. It was painful to go through. Seeing how people, how people are dying, dying in God, He wants to heal them. You have to measure yourself. Do you understand who you are? You have to see yourself for real.